Hey guys, it's Abby and today is going to be another kawaii vlog. I'm going to take you guys along with me as we do a little bit of shopping. We're going to be going to a shopping center that has a Japanese marketplace. It also has a Kinokuniya bookstore which is a very very popular Japanese book chain. They have one in Tokyo. I went to one when I was in Japan and I went to the one in Shibuya. They sell various books like you know Japanese magazines, books to learn Japanese, various different things as well as stationery so I'm super super excited. They also have a Daiso which I absolutely love. I want to see if I can find some stuff for my room. I think my room's already set, but I do want to see if I can find some more stuff to make it extra kawaii. I am really excited about the bookstore because I want to see if I can find anything inspired by Sailor Moon, maybe like a book. And in the shopping center, they also have an area dedicated to Japanese makeup and beauty, so I want to see if I can find anything there as well. I love Japanese skincare and makeup, especially the brand Can Make. And the packaging is so cute and the makeup itself is just adorable. I love it, love it, love it. So I'm so excited to bring you guys along on this little adventure with me. So without further ado, hajime mashou! So this is what I'm wearing for today. So this is a thrifted item from the shop called Closet Child. I got it when I was in Japan recently and it's one of my favorite tops. I definitely want to bring back the whole Himikaji style which is a very princessy style that I've been talking to you guys about in my vlogs lately. So I thought it was so cute and I think the color scheme really matches this skirt that I got from Liz Lisa. Um, well this is a thrifted item but this is from the brand Liz Lisa. It is so so cute and 100% gives me Himikaji style vibes. I got this at Closet Child probably in 2019, a few, few years back actually. This is my first time when I ever went to Japan. So this is more of an older item that I got, not the one I got recently. This is a recent top right here, but I think it works really well with the color scheme of the skirt because the skirt kind of has a light little pink tint to it. And this creamy top is kind of like a light pink to it as well. And then for my bag, I'm using this really adorable bag that I got from this new shop that just opened in Harajuku. Why at least for me it's new, I hadn't seen it when I was back in Japan the first time. When I recently came to Japan, I did find this shop and they sold a bunch of stuff um, inspired by the Ryosangata or Jiraike style that's been super trendy lately and so I got this bag I thought it was so cute I wanted a pink bag since I got a white one from Liz Lisa and I felt like this color just worked really really well with this look because I'm going with a kind of pink color scheme here and I just felt like it worked really really well I love it love it so so cute it's got these really pretty pearls and it's got this really cool like it almost looks like a zigzag pattern and then as for my shoes I'm just wearing these cute little shoes that I got from Bodyline. These shoes are kind of like your typical schoolgirl shoes. I've always wanted to buy some and when I saw them at Bodyline, I think they were on sale. They were so, so cute. I got them in black as well, but I felt like they worked better for this look since they're brown. I was going to wear my black shoes, but I felt like an all brown look would work really well for this look because it's very Himikaji. Himikaji does have a lot of browns in the style. If you guys have never heard of the style, check out this video where I kind of explain a little bit more on this style. But yeah, super, super cute. And then these socks are from Yes Style. They're adorable. I absolutely love them. Definitely make sure to use Use my code capital C U T E one two three to get five percent off all your orders on Yes Style, and they have so many kawaii items that can definitely like look like J fashion. So definitely recommend it, and they're very inexpensive. It's a really good price as well. I feel like they work really well with this outfit. Now that I've shown you guys my outfit, let's go ahead and do a little bit of shopping. My first stop was Daiso. I love going to Daiso during the holidays since they always have themed merchandise. In this case, Halloween themed items. I'm a huge Disney fan, so I was especially interested in this Mickey Halloween merch. These little bags are perfect for making Halloween cookies and giving them to friends. I walked around the store to see what other items they had. As you can clearly see, I was very drawn to anything Disney related. Look at this adorable chocolate case. They also sell the cutest stationery. It's a bonus that it's affordable as well. I love taking a look at the snack aisle and seeing what kind of goodies they sell. I love Japanese snacks and food in general. My go-to item at Daiso is this milky pastry roll. It's so good. As well as anything strawberry flavored. Look at how cute this packaging is. In the end, I ended up getting these Mickey themed spoons. I love desserts, so I felt this spoon would be perfect for when I want a sweet treat. My mom and my sisters got matching spoons. I then headed to Kinokuniya Bookstore. They sell the cutest plushies here and Sandio merch. They also sell a variety of manga, Japanese magazines, and cookbooks. I then headed to the Japanese grocery store. I love getting miso soup packets here. They also sell the best desserts.
Look at all these Hello Kitty cutlery. It's so cute. They also sold a lot of Japanese makeup. The Japanese brand Can Make is my favorite makeup brand. The packaging is so adorable. It's honestly my favorite part. I later took a look at some of the drinks. I was very interested in the Sailor Moon themed drinks. Next, I headed to a Japanese bakery. This is Melon Pan, also known as Melon Bread. It doesn't taste like melon, but it gets the name because of the patterned cookie topping that resembles the skin of a melon. The shop next door had so many cute Sanyo merch. I didn't get anything since I'm trying to save for my trip to Japan next year. I checked out another bakery and ended up getting the cookies and cream mochi donut. It was so good. Once I got home, I ate the ramen I purchased and had some of the Japanese apple juice. It was all super tasty. Now for dessert, I got this ice cream. The strawberry flavored one is my favorite. Here is a mini fall vlog and bonus footage. I did what's known on TikTok as a Disney dinner and a movie night. My family and I chose Snow White, so we made Snow White themed foods. Of course, since it's fall, we made pumpkin shaped bread rolls for our hamburgers and an apple tart with vanilla bean ice cream. I also made these cookies that have been trending all over TikTok. My sister was craving the pumpkin spice cinnamon rolls, so we made those as well. Halloween is my favorite holiday and I love Disney movies, so this was a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you guys want to see more kawaii vlogs. I have a lot more Japan vlogs coming up for you guys, so if you guys want to see more content related to Japan, as well as kawaii fashion, beauty, things like that, then definitely subscribe to my channel. My goal with my videos is to bring back that same nostalgia that the 2010 J-Vloggers gave, as well as bring back the whole living doll aesthetic and fashion. So if you guys are interested in that, then like I said, definitely make sure to subscribe to my channel. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Follow me at the official underscore Abby on Instagram for some cute fashion inspiration. I'll leave a link to all my social media accounts in the description box below so you guys can go ahead and follow me everywhere. It would really, really mean a lot to me. As always, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Mitte kareite. Arigatou gozaimasu.